Okay, so maybe an acro prop would be overkill. But how to repair this so it doesn't happen again? Hi, and welcome back to the channel. This time, in the first of an occasional series focusing on smaller jobs needing doing around the home, I repair a wardrobe rail that collapsed under the weight of clothes hung on it. I'm forever doing jobs like this, whether it's in our own home, or for family and friends, or some of my long-standing customers. Whilst they don't justify a longer, in-depth video, I thought some short, how-to-do-it type videos might be helpful for those willing to try doing it themselves, rather than pay someone else. Hope you find it useful, and make sure you subscribe for future similar content. It's pretty clear what's happened. The centre support ring has just given way under the weight of all the clothes. No surprise really, as they're only made from a soft zinc material that's chrome or brass plated. The quickest and lowest cost solution is obviously to remove the broken ring, take out the rail, try and straighten it and then refit it all back again using an identical new support ring. But how long is that likely to last, given all the clothes that are going to be hung from it? Instead, I'm going to fit two new shorter lengths of rail with a stronger midpoint support. Here's how I did it. After measuring up, it was a quick trip down to Screwfix. Other DIY retailers are available, as they say, and a length of oval rail and two packs of matching M brackets purchased. Three support blocks were then made up from a suitable length of timber, measuring 32 by 44 by 100 millimeters each and pre-drilled with two 4.5mm diameter holes, 25mm in from either end. I counterbored the drill holes with a larger bit, so that the screw heads would be recessed into the blocks, but that's not strictly necessary. Having measured and marked the halfway point on both the wardrobe cross support and the support block, I then positioned the block and drilled through the two holes to mark the required screw positions on the cross support. Then it was just a case of drilling a couple of pilot holes ready to receive the screws. To avoid having to fiddle about with small screws whilst bending under the wardrobe shelf, I fitted the rail support bracket to the wooden block first and also fitted the two 70mm screws ready to screw into the wardrobe cross support. Then it's simply a case of positioning the block and screwing it in firmly, though it does help if you fit the right size bit into your screwdriver. If you're wondering why I went to the trouble of making up the timber support blocks, rather than just screwing the rail support bracket directly to the side of the wardrobe, like you normally see on an IKEA flat pack or similar, it's because I didn't think the panel was substantial enough to take the weight. It's then just a case of wash and repeat to do the support blocks for the centre position and the other end. Note for the centre block, I slightly offset the positions of the rail support brackets just a little bit off centre, so that the screws didn't clash with each other. All that's left to be done now is to cut the two sections of rail to length. As I didn't want to remove the protective polythene wrap until I was ready to put the rail into position, I stuck a piece of masking tape in the approximate position so that it was easier to mark the correct length with a pencil. Using a set square to draw the cut line across the rail as square as possible, it's then just a case of using a small hacksaw to cut it to length. Slot the rails into position and peel off the protective wrap and the job's done. I probably cut the left hand rail one or two millimetres short but it should be fine. So there we have it, two new rails that should hopefully stand the test of time. All in all a relatively straightforward repair job. Total cost of materials around £15 and about an hour to complete. I hope you found this video useful if you're needing to do something similar whether that be a repair job or installing a new rail from scratch. If so, please give it a like by clicking on the thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss out on further content in this series. Thanks. 
Hope to see you next time.